So here's a quick thought. I was watching uh, Rocked On with uh, Will Rock and Eric, and they brought out a good point when they were discussing Darius Slay's comments uh, recently about the Lions fans and how he was disappointed in them booing Matthew Stafford. He didn't really understand why they would do that, especially looking at what all uh, Matthew Stafford has done for the Detroit Lions and their organization and for the city of Detroit. It made me think about something <clears throat> with the Detroit Lions facing the Rams. Um, they were bringing it out that, hey, you know, they're going to Matthew is going to be booed again, but not necessarily Matthew Stafford being booed, but the Rams are being booed. Um, they're the opponent. This is going to be a playoff atmosphere, playoff team. Um, and it's going to be a rerun of the playoff game from last year, basically. The next game after that, Tampa Bay. It's going to be a rerun of the playoff game last year. So it's going to be interesting, and this gave me a thought. It gave me a thought. With these two games being the first two games to start the season off, to show what these Detroit Lions are, new personnel, new players, new coaches, um, no longer hunting. Uh, the Lions are now the hunted Teams are going to be giving the Lions their very best because everybody wants to knock the Lions off to make sure that they seem to be like the same old Lions of the past. So with all of that, it brought me to think of a scenario in which what happens, what happens? Now, I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer type uh, at, this, at, this, at this point, but there's something to think about. What happens if the Lions lose one or both of those games? What does that do to the optimism and the, um, all of the fans that are looking for the Lions to uh, really showcase that they are that team now, uh, third, fourth, uh, in, in, in the conversation of the top five in the NFL? What happens if they face their playoff opponents, whom they beat, and this year they can't beat one of them or they can't beat both of them to start the season off? Start zero and zero and two. Start one and one. Man, that'll be a blow. To me, it'll be a blow. It'll be tough. But it was just a thought. And it was kind of like a reality check because it's a great, it's a big possibility that that could happen. Now, I want them to go 2 and 0, oh, and I'm sure everyone else do, does as well. But it's a possibility that that could happen. So that's my quick thought. Leave in the comments what you think about that type of scenario uh, and how that would affect the team moving forward, the fan base moving forward, and uh, how easy would it be to bounce back if that did if that did happen. I, I think there's a chance that it may take some time for uh, the new players to get acclimated, the, the, the rookies to get going. It, it may take some time. Josh Reynolds is no longer there. It may take some time for J-Mo to get going. So it's a possibility. Uh, but our trenches should be solid, both sides of the ball. But still, it's, a still, it's still a possibility. It's something to think about. So it's a good discussion, I think. Leave in the comments how you feel about it.